Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on YouTube differential manometer. So first I will read what is the given problem. A differential manometer is connected at the two points A and B of two pipes as shown in the figure. The pipe A contains liquid of specific gravity 1.5 while the pipe B contains the liquid of specific gravity 0.9. The pressures at A and B are 1 kg per centimeter square and 1.80 kg per centimeter square respectively. Find the difference in mercury level in differential manometer. So this was the given question. Now let us first understand what is the given data and what is the structure of YouTube differential manometer. Now if we observe why this manometer is called as differential manometer because the two pipes are at different levels. So here is the pipe A and here is the pipe B and the level is different. Now the data is given that is the specific gravity. So we will use here the suffix 1 for the fluid in this pipe A and suffix 2 for the fluid in this pipe B. So specific gravity that is S1 is equal to 1.5 that is given. So we will say that S1 and from this specific gravity we can calculate here the density. So how to calculate density that is S1 multiplied by 1000. So rho 1 is equal to 1500 kilogram per meter cube. Now in the same way here specific gravity in this fluid in this pipe B that is S2 is equal to 0 0.9 that is given. So how to calculate density that is rho 2 is equal to 0 0.9 into 1000 that is equal to 900 kilogram per meter cube. And we know that what is the density of mercury. So 13.6 multiplied by 1000 kilogram per meter cube. So this is the density of mercury that we have to take because we should know the what is the density of mercury. Now here the pressure is also given that is pressure at this pipe A and pressure in this pipe B. So how what is this pressure? So PA is equal to 1 kg per centimeter square. So we have to convert it into the standard unit. So this kgf per centimeter square we have to convert it into the newton per meter square because the newton per meter square is the standard unit. So how to convert it? So here centimeter square we will convert it into the meter square. So how to convert? So we have to multiply this with 10 raised to 4. So 1 kg per centimeter square is equal to 10 raised to 4 kg per meter square. Now this kgf term we have to convert it into the newton. So we have to multiply here with 9.81. So again 10 raised to 4 into 9.81 newton per meter square. So this newton per meter square is the standard unit. In the same way we will convert this pressure at this pipe B that is PB is equal to now here 1.8 kg per centimeter square. So again we have to convert it into the Newton per meter square. So again we have to multiply with 10 raised to 4 multiplied by 9.81. So what is the term? 1.8 into 10 raised to 4 into 9.81 Newton per meter square. So now this pressures PA and PB are at the standard unit. Now if we observe this diagram, so this diagram is given in the question. So here is the pipe A and here is the pipe B. So the height of the liquid or this fluid in this pipe A and pipe B is specified here. If we observe from this pipe A from the center to the center of the second pipe, the height is 3 meter that is given and then from the center of the second pipe that is the pipe B up to the level of mercury the again height is specified that is 2 meter and again the difference in mercury level that we have to find out and we will consider it as a H. So this is the total height is getting specified. So we will consider here as a CD is the datum line. So how to consider the datum line now if we observe in the left side limb and right side limb this level of mercury is the lower level and above which there is only one fluid. So we will consider this line passing through this 
lower level of mercury as a datum line so from this diagram we can say that pressure above this point c which is equal to pressure above this point d so we will specify first what is the pressure above point c so if we observe here is the pipe and then there is the fluid in this pipe a and then again there is the mercury above this point c so we have to add the all the pressures so we can say that pressure at this point a that is p a plus pressure due to the fluid of height so what is the total height of fluid over this point c that is 3 plus 2 that is 5 meter so how to calculate this pressure due to height of fluid 5 meter that is rho g h that is the formula so we will use here the suffix 1 that is rho 1 g h 1 is the formula plus this pressure due to height h of the mercury so again there is the formula rho g h so we have to write here rho g h that is for mercury then plus rho 1 g h 1 so rho 1 g h 1 for this height of fluid plus p a because of pressure at this pipe a which is equal to now pressure at this point d so how to find out this so if we observe again there is the height of the fluid in this pipe b plus pressure at the pipe b so again for this fluid we will use here suffix 2 so how to write rho 2 g h 2 plus p b now we will put the value so rho g h means what h means this height of the mercury level so rho means 13600 into 9.81 into h so we have to first calculate this bracket plus in the second bracket rho 1 g h 1 so rho 1 is that is given here 1500 multiplied by 9.81 plus h 1 so h 1 means what this 2 plus 3 then plus p a that is the pressure at this pipe a now which is equal to rho 2 g h 2 so rho 2 means what it is given 900 into 9.81 multiplied by h2 now here what is the height of this fluid so if we observe this 2 meter plus h that is 2 plus h we have to write and plus pressure at this pipe b that is pp so we have to solve this bracket first and then we have to add so if we observe in this equation there is only one unknown term that is h and if we solve this for h we will get h is equal to 0 0.181 meter so we can convert this into centimeter that is 18.1 centimeter and this is the answer